This is Kirsty Valentine. Thanks, guys, for subscribing onto my channel, for tuning in today. This is a story about a very own Nollywood actress, Unse Etan Ukbe, who sat down with a, a major global network media house to have a conversation with them about what she's been going through, why she's been out of this scene. She had a hysterectomy and not been able to have a child. Please watch a video, leave a comment, share, and... I know nah, say people they do you. bed watching. I don't know say they, they do womb watching until I marry. They they watch my womb for me. They go, they look, they look, they look. If I chop belly food, they say, ah, it don't they swell. <laughs> Some people they call me unse. Some they call me unse. <laughs> but unse quieto. Which kind of voice enter for that say? <laughs> Some precious way we they get. Now we they carry put on top of ourselves. And that's just the truth. Even plus the marriage they They see they looking like this. And then you never born. Me I said I waka, she waka. Now you make me no born. If you check them, if you don't, they come up and let they come up and let. Now you make you no born. I mean, there, there's been there's been New Year's Day when I'm not at home. I've been in hospital, and then you come out, maybe a few days after, five days after, and I take a photo straight from the hospital, and I'm very thankful. Someone says, "Tell your husband to sh to, to you know his beard." You don't know what he was going through with me. So there are things like that. Then, you say go sit down. You go try everything because society they worry you for picking. Then you go come go kill yourself. My choice was to pick life over a child I might never have been able to bear full term. So I had a hysterectomy as advised by the doctors. I can't be depressed. I know I walk again. I wasn't able to deal with it. I, I just swallowed in it. I, I suffered it. It, it. it was, everybody just said and said, it's okay. And that's what you need. That people tell you, it's okay. It's tough, yes. It's difficult. There are times I still cry. After all said and done, I will have to get on with it. I have gotten on with it, which is why I'm able to talk about it. I think I got tired of people passing snide comments and thinking it was okay to pass those comments on my page, which is my space. I can't know, and I couldn't have known that one day I'd be able to talk about it. I thought I'd die with it. I thought it would be my secret, and I'd say, we don't want kids. No, we can't, no, we don't. It, it kind of cool, but no, I wouldn't be helping anybody. And I'm, I'm thankful because and Clifford, Clifford looked at me and said, are you ready? I said, I think I am. I don't know. What do you think? He says, I think you are. So, yes, I am. I'm ready. You can actually face your fears and conquer them at the same time. And so that's what I, I chose to do. And I wanted to do it with people who were more exposed to pressures, not people who had perfect lives. Because social media does come with its pressures. To the women, just do you, <laughs> really. Just do what makes you happy. Don't do it because people are going to look at you and think that you're a woman. Nothing, nothing says if you have a child, you're a woman.